With just two days to go before the New Hampshire primary, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced today that he is suspending his presidential campaign. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more from New Hampshire. Tonight, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who had been trailing behind former President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, suspending his campaign for president. The decision coming ahead of Tuesday's consequential primary in New Hampshire. DeSantis making the announcement on this video posted to X. If we don't have a clear path to victory, accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. Trump touting the endorsement during a rally. As you know, he left the campaign trail today at 3 p.m. and in so doing, he was very gracious and he endorsed me, so I appreciate it. I appreciate that, and I also look forward to working with Ron and everybody else to defeat crooked Joe Biden. Nikki Haley wishing DeSantis well. And I want to say to Ron, he ran a great race. Having said that, it's now one fella and one lady left. Now, the two-person race that Nikki Haley and Donald Trump had always framed is officially a showdown. A new CNN University of New Hampshire poll shows Donald Trump topping Nikki Haley by 11 points. In order to gain ground on Tuesday, Haley will look to moderates and independents who could swing the state her way. Donald Trump, though, leaning on his momentum from his Iowa win, looking to tighten his grip on the lead here in New Hampshire by way of his loyal base. Because I believe in him. I believe in his policies. And former President Donald Trump is now fundraising off this latest endorsement from Ron DeSantis, saying it's time to unite as a party and defeat Joe Biden. Nikki Haley, on the other hand, insisting that she is still very much in this race. But time is running out as she looks to edge out former President Donald Trump. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Manchester, New Hampshire.